The radical union leader Tom Mann analysed the labour process on the London docks. He talked about rationalisation, speed up, and with this, the evils of casualisation and no possibility of steady work. He concluded, and it's an important conclusion, he said, there's only one set of people that can do anything about this. It's the dockers. If the dockers don't do it for themselves, nobody will do it. And that was the starting point for many of the radical trade union organisers of the day. Mann's observation on sweating and dehumanisation were echoed almost exactly by Connolly, one year later, in an expose of labour conditions on the Belfast docks. He wrote, As a result of systematic slave driving, the average day's work was driven higher and higher, until 160, 180, and 200 tonnes a day's work ceased to excite any comment or be seen in any way as remarkable. Now, the Bliss Mill Tweed strike work would have understood this very well. When they paraded through uh, Chipping Norton, the town of the location of the mill, they carried their banner declaring, we fight for liberty, down with oppression. The other aspect of this wave of union organising was that it always tended to look beyond the horizon of the immediate dispute and recognise that the grievances workers had were not just incidental but rooted in their lack of power in society. Now, if misery and a desire for human dignity is all that's required for social change, we'd all be in a different place now. We have to think how workers' fighting capacity was mobilised and expressed. Music